everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today I wanted to talk about 10 games that I think would be fantastic to play if you're a board gamer, but these games are video games or electronic games in some manner or fashion. Now this is not the most simple list to put together because, you know, you might like one type of board game, that doesn't mean you'll like this type of video game. So there's no one for one correlation and probably this would be best split into groups. If you'd like economic simulation board games, these are the video games you would like. Uh, but I haven't played enough video games to do that. I'm just going to tell you video games that I found to be enjoyable and I think a lot of it is because I also enjoy board games. So there's just, just 10 tips and if there's a game I missed or one that you'd like to tell people about, well then that's what the comments are for. So here we go. Number 10 is the newest game on my list and it is a silly game but for some reason it really struck a chord with me and this is on the Switch currently and that's called Good Job. In Good Job you are the a bumbling oaf uh, but your dad is the CEO of the company, so you have a job. And you just have to accomplish tasks in this one. And so you have to move a projector from here to here. But the, the thing is, you get points for doing it quickly, and you also get points for doing it correctly. You don't have to do both. So for example, in one scenario, I needed to get a projector downstairs. I figured out how to move locks and do things and finally get to projector, but rather than take it down the stairs, I decided to shoot it through the glass on the second story over the people's heads in the auditorium, then wrap the cord around chairs amongst all those people and plug it in. It was spectacular, it was stupid, and I loved it, and I think board gamers will like it because it gives you so many different paths to accomplish and get a job done. It's also hilarious. Number nine is the second newest one on my list, and that is Factorio. Uh, now this game is a game about just getting stuff done and produced. In it, you start mining things, and then you build machines with these, and then you use those machines to mine more stuff. And then you're building conveyor belts and attaching things. And if you like the idea of building conveyor belts and attaching this and running a factory, well, I mean, it's in the name of the game, Factorio, and I found that it can be extremely addicting. Number eight is Kingdom of Loathing. I've been playing this game and on and off now for a decade or so. Kingdom of Loathing is a massive multiplayer online game, but it's not like most, where you only get, in this game, I think you get 30 turns a day. And it's essentially an RPG, but it's with stick figures. Now, this doesn't actually appeal to me because of the RPG. That part is interesting, actually. And it's all stick figures and stuff, and there's a lot of humor in it. And I don't even necessarily like all the humor in it, but there is a ton and ton of content in this game. Uh, but the RPG part is fun and it's interesting and they have this, these skills you can get and then once you beat the game, which you could do after a certain point in time, you can restart the game and keep one of your skills from the previous game, play the game, and there's just a million ways to play it. But there's also a strong economic part to the game, which I really like. There's a mall where you can buy and sell things and an economy and it's a real world economy because people want things or don't want things. And, I really found that to be a very fun secondary aspect of the game. This one's available online through browsers, Kingdom of Loathing. Number seven is SimCity. All the different itinerations of this one. I like SimCity. I like the idea of running a city. And I know that there are various versions of SimCity that, have, that come out. Um, and I have not played all of them. I played many of them and I keep wanting to go back and play the original, where you build a city, you keep your water going, you keep your power going, you keep the taxes at the right number. And I tend to like simulation games. I mean, there's a lot of different sim games that could be put into this. I remember enjoying Sim Tower, or even just the Sims in general, but Sim City is still my favorite of the lot. Number six is Offworld Trading Company. Now this one was, I was sent a code to this by someone who was a board gamer too. And they said, you're a board gamer, you'll like this. And you know what, I did. In this game, it's a kind of a pickup and delivery game in which you're on a planet here and you're building different areas and sending off your mining things to pick this stuff up from here and buying out your competitors and trying to beat your competitors with different things. It's, it's not a long game. It's the kind of game I'll reset and play again and it's kind of about finding the best way to accomplish a goal during any particular game. But if you like that whole pick up and deliver with a little bit of economic side game to it, I think you would enjoy Offward Trading Company available on Steam. Number five is Game Dev Tycoon. Now this one is kind of weird because it's a video game about video games. I, I got it on my iPad. 
um, and you are developing games and hiring people eventually because you don't have enough time to develop your own games and play test them and you hire people and have them develop games and watch the ratings and reviews for your games which is a little ironic for me to do and it's odd because it's about video games but I name all mine after board games when I play this game and I'm selling board games to try to get good ratings for the board games and putting effort into them but it's still kind of a neat simulation and that I think people will enjoy as you make these board games and, and maybe start investing in new systems that come out. And I found it to be a lot of fun. That's Game Dev Tycoon. Number four is the XCOM series. Ah, Turn-based movement. I mean, is this not a board game where I move and then I shoot? And it's like rolling dice and you watch and see what happens and then the enemy moves and it's scary as all get out. It gives you a level of terror that a board game will never give you as you sit there and you're like, I really, really hope the guys don't shoot me. The aliens are coming. The aliens are coming. I spent so much time in college playing the original two versions of this XCOM and XCOM Terror from the deep. And I will never forget just that breathless fear and that, that just terrific triumph when you finally cleared out the aliens from a, 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 a just the place, and then the new versions have done a good job bringing that back. Just excellent all around. The uh, I, I just I just really like the XCOM series. Number three is Jackbox Party. You say, Vassal, you cheat. These are board games. Well, not necessarily. They're party games, but you can play them. I mean, you really can only play them on computers or on the Switch. There's lots of places to play them, and there's just a whole pile in there. Now. Invariably, if you buy a Jackbox Party Pack, and I think Party Pack 3 might be the best um, of the packs, but if you buy a Party Pack, there's going to be one or two games in there which I think are better than the rest. But you look for social deduction style games, trivia games that are fun, party games like Apples to Apples, and they are highly entertaining. They really do a good job. They can be family friendly or not. And they, they, you can play them across the internet. You can, we've played them before on our own channel. Quiplash is probably the most famous of all of them. But there's a lot of fun games that can be played with these. And if you're a board gamer, this kind of just slides right in there. Me and my family enjoy playing them together. Number two, Civilization. Come on now. Now, my favorite is the newest one, Civilization VI. Although, I can just tell you right now, it's Civilization 6, then it's Civilization 4, then it's Civilization 2, and it's 1, 5, 3. Uh, but they're all fun. And that whole idea of building a civilization and turning it into a war game, or turning it into just an expansion game, or turning it into an economic game, or a negotiation game, it's simply one of the greatest games of all time. I love it. It's available for many different systems. I just saw it's out for the Switch now, which has me fascinated. And uh, I spent more time playing that series of Civilization than any other game in my life. But number one is my favorite video game of all time, and I think it's a lot because I'm a board gamer, and that's Final Fantasy Tactics. Now, I'm a big fan of the Final Fantasy series, probably the second most time of any series of games I spent after Civ. But Final Fantasy Tactics, I played through to completion about seven or eight times now, and each time I'm just as fascinated, it is essentially, you have a squad of people that will grow as the game goes by. And there's a backstory that's extremely convoluted and yet works. And you move these characters around the board each time. You're making attacks. It's very similar to XCOM in that way. But the leveling up system and getting better as the game progresses is unbelievable. You have so much freedom. There's so many things to do. They came out with a Game Boy Advance version of this, which was okay not as good as the as the original version but the original version is now available on the ipad and i'll tell you it is just fantastic i have never played a game that i feel so after done so satisfying where my characters have gone in this game and what they've done so those are 10 games that i think board gamers would enjoy like i said i'm sure there are many others tell me in the comments below until next time i'm tom vassal see you all later